So many people willing to lay down their lives for me. It should never have come to this. There's something I want to tell you, before you do what you came to do. Don't beg, Chancellor. It's unbecoming. Just bear with me. Consider it a last request, if that means anything. I reviewed the report surrounding the operation to apprehend you. It's atrocious. A monumental abuse of power. I don't condone what you were doing, but I understand it. It was just your job. June made it personal. It would have come to this eventually. Your good business. Maybe before. But now, I wouldn't be so sure. I've declassified the details of June Seros's actions against you. Soon the Senate and the people will know that elements of my administration doctored official records to further a personal agenda. The fallout will be tremendous. No matter how our meeting concludes, I'll be removed from office. Hoping to get fired before I can claim my bounty? This isn't about me. It's about the truth. A Republic cannot be based on deception, especially on matters of war. The false accusations will disappear as the truth is separated from the lies. It's not a clean slate, but it's what you deserve. I'm willing to take things a step further, if you're willing to work with me. Give me a reason to believe anything you've said. The reports are right here. Take a look for yourself. Keep them. Whatever will allay your suspicion. My offer is immunity for your past crimes. The real ones. If you're willing to show me you're not firmly in the Empire's pocket. June believed you were in league with a Sith named Tormund. Is that true? I'm sorry, but it's confidential. That's answer enough. Be careful who you put your confidence in. Tormund's a monster. His troops have been butchering Corellians. On Raban, he flattened kilometers of homes, businesses, hospitals. A man like that can't be given more power. Let's fix this while we're in a position to do so. The Chancellor wants to make a liar out of you. I'd rather be a liar than whatever Tormund wants me to be. Keep your word, and Tormund will disappear. Dark Lord's good sport, at least. I understand the risk you're taking. Thank you. The Supreme Chancellor has been dealt with. Good. Make for the Tyrant. The fleet will cover your escape. We'll engage the Imperial Fleet, but I'll have to survive this to hold up my end of the bargain. If you can somehow cripple the Tyrant after dealing with Tormund, we can handle the rest. The Tyrant won't trouble you, Chancellor. You reek of vengeance and satisfaction. The Supreme Chancellor's death has excited your passions. Relish it. Experience some small measure of what it is to be Sith. Now, deliver what I have asked of you. I got an offer more in line with my work ethic. I expected better. This was deserved. Rule with a clenched fist. You better be prepared to scrap. Trusting in a tool, however useful, was a mistake. The task of delivering the master stroke I should have reserved for myself. A galaxy would know. None are beyond my reach. All would cower or they would burn. And the Dark Council would see how total victory is achieved. At least they won't have to see how far you missed the mark.
was hoping to find you alive. Quite a narrow escape. Darth Tormund was not as fortunate, I trust. The only thing he escaped was a costly burial. Good. At least it's done. Perhaps it's best that I'm getting out of politics. Ranging assassinations couldn't be farther from what I've stood for. After falling this far, I suppose there's no point in trying to recover my principles. Coming clean would only do more harm than good. You don't cast off honor when it's inconvenient. I never said I was excusing my failures. Only living with them. It was for a greater good. We may be far from achieving peaceful coexistence, but the fewer men like Tormund that come to power, the better our chances. As far as anyone knows, Tormund died in a foolish naval battle. Let's leave it that way. Then I'm done hearing about problems you aren't going to fix. Get to the ones you are. You'll be exonerated as I promised. Even if my replacement questions the justification, overturning it would be more trouble than it's worth. I'm also sending a small reimbursement for your lost wages. It isn't much. There are more important things than pride and wealth. I hope you'll continue to use such good judgment in the future. I'm a Mandalorian, Chancellor. We may not follow your rules, but we've got our priorities straight. You may not know how to handle a blaster, but you're prepared to die for what you believe in. That's good enough for me. Live in honor, Chancellor, wherever you end up.